Well, I am Muhammad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, at the palace of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi monarch for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, thanking him for the invitation, which reflects the distinguished historic relations. The two sides reviewed the course of historic relations which witnessed growth and development in all domains and the two countries' efforts to enhance coordination and strategic cooperation in various regional issues to achieve joint interests. They affirmed keenness on bolstering cooperation and developing coordination mechanisms. His Majesty hailed the King Hamad Causeway project which will connect the two kingdoms, adding that it represents a milestone in Bahraini Saudi historic relations. His Majesty the King asserted Bahrain's keenness on enhancing the march of GCC countries, developing the Gulf system and deepening cooperation and fraternal ties to achieve goals and aspirations for the interests of all. The two sides also discussed the latest regional developments and the challenges and their repercussions on security and stability as well as exchange points of view on a number of regional and international issues of common interest. The Saudi monarch commended Bahrain's honorable stances led by His Majesty the King and its efforts to advance the course of the GCC and develop the fields of joint Gulf work and its contributions to support regional security and stability. King Salman held a lunch banquet in honor of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Riyadh on an official visit during which he met with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to discuss the strong historical fraternal relations and the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty was welcomed upon arrival by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty was also welcomed by the Deputy Governor of Riyadh Region, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Aziz, the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz, the Bahraini Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdul Rahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the Saudi Minister of Commerce and Acting Minister of Media, Dr. Majid bin Abdullah Al Qasabi, the accompanying minister. In a statement delivered on arrival, His Majesty expressed pleasure with meeting the Saudi King to discuss the latest regional developments and challenges to continue coordination and consultation for the interests of the two countries. He congratulated the Saudi King and the Crown Prince on their country's Foundation Day, praising the kingdom's pioneering civilizational and development achievements at all levels during the era of the Saudi monarch and its high status for the international community. His Majesty reiterated appreciation and gratitude for the blessed efforts of King Salman in serving Gulf, Arab and Islamic causes and Saudi Arabia's strategic role at the regional and international levels to ensure a better future for world countries. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia out of belief in the common goal and destiny. He asserted that Saudi Arabia's security is an integral part of Bahrain's, stressing the importance of Saudi Arabia for regional security and facing dangers and threats. He wished the kingdom's security, growth and prosperity to continue the march of development under the leadership of the Saudi King and the Saudi Crown Prince. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed Riyadh, returning to Bahrain, following a visit in which he met with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty was bid farewell by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Deputy Governor of Riyadh Region, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Bahraini Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdul Rahman bin Ali Al Khalifa and the Saudi Minister of Commerce and Acting Minister of Media, Dr. Majid bin Abdullah Al-Qasabi, the accompanying minister. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has returned to Bahrain today after conducting an official visit to Saudi Arabia where he met with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, with whom he held talks on regional and international developments.
Following His Majesty the King's visit to Saudi Arabia and his meeting with the Saudi King, the Information Minister Ali Ramehi affirmed that this visit affirms the strong historic relations between the two countries and highlights the strong cooperation in all fields. The minister affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Saudi Arabia based on the common goals and destiny and praised the role of Saudi Arabia in maintaining the security and stability of the region. He affirmed that the kingdom is keen to further enhance all relations and cooperation with Saudi Arabia in all sectors. He added that these historic brotherly relations are a model of bilateral relations. Rumehi stressed that Saudi Arabia is the country of justice and wisdom and the protective of the Arab and Islamic nations and stressed Bahrain's firm stances towards Saudi Arabia and keenness to provide it with continued support. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Let's Paddle International Tournament Finals held at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. His Highness expressed pleasure with the high turnout of athletes from various world countries, affirming that this type of tournament supports efforts to promote sports tourism. He stated that the paddle sport is witnessing wide interest from athletes, which will contribute to forming a strong foundation on which regular and national teams could be formed to represent the kingdom in continental and international competitions. His Highness honored the winners in the men's and women's categories, hailing the competition's distinguished technical levels. He wished the other participants success in the upcoming tournaments.
The executive committee of the Asian Business Leadership Forum awarded the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Zayani, the Ambassador of Commerce Award following an award ceremony at Expo 2020 Dubai. The award comes in appreciation of the minister's efforts in supporting economic relations and promote the government strategies of the Kingdom of Bahrain that focus on supporting the economy, achieve sustainability and maintain its gains. The award is one of the important awards related to leadership, supporting economic relations and advancing the commercial sector in a more innovative and developed way. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zahid Zayani, attended a discussion session which was held as part of the final ceremony of the 16th Asian Business Leadership Forum in the UAE. The event was held under the theme Strengthening Flexibility Back Again. In the presence of the UAE Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence, His Highness Sheikh Nahyan bin Mbarak Al Nahyan at the Expo 2020 Dubai. The high-level session focused on many social and economic issues on the scene at the present time, as well as the post-pandemic world. Keynote speakers and other leading persons personalities representing the public and private sectors also attended the discussion session. Following the recent amendments of the Bahraini Judicial Authority law, nine judges swore legal oath enabling the conduct of national court proceedings in English. The internationally recognized judges are specialized in financial and commercial disputes. This pioneering initiative enhances the adjudication of disputes before the national courts that relate to the diverse fields of national and international contractual relationships, such as commerce, the working of companies, banks, financial institutions, as well as trademarks, intellectual property rights, maritime and aviation, in addition to construction. This will alleviate translation challenges as well as decrease litigation costs and increase the speedy resolution of disputes while ensuring the issuance of judgments in accordance with international practices. These financial and commercial disputes will be in English if the parties agree and the contract relevant to the dispute is not in Arabic. This co contributes to strengthening Bahrain's position as a financial hub that it houses the best human resources and provides a business-friendly environment, enabling sustainable growth and prosperity. The work of the 5th Dirasat Forum was launched in conjunction with the second forum of the International Association for Energy Economics in the Middle East and North Africa. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of Dirasat, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, said in the opening speech of the forum that the Kingdom of Bahrain, thanks to the Royal Directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, made great achievements in the field of energy transformations. The announcements of the National Energy Efficiency Plan and the National Renewable Energy Plan, which were approved by the Council of Ministers in January 2017, are among the most important steps to enhance the kingdom's leading role in the efficiency and diversification of energy sources. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah stressed that these plans aimed to achieve reliance on 5% of renewable energy from the total national energy mix in 2025, increasing it to 10% in 2035. He added that the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, aims to reach zero neutrality in the year 2060 in an effort to confront climate change and protect the environment. He pointed out that the government has started with practical steps that have proven their feasibility on the ground to increase the growth of the non-oil sectors and national plans along with strategic frameworks and policies have succeeded in integrating them with sustainable development goals by 78 percent of what has been agreed upon with the United Nations. The second edition of the Bahrain Diabetes and Endocrine Review Conference will begin tomorrow under the patronage of the Supreme Council for Health President, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The conference sheds light on the importance of Diabetes and Endocrine Review Conference to keep abreast of medical strides and highlight the causes of the disease. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by consultant physician and endocrinologist at BDF Hospital, Colonel Dr. Fayyad Al Sabr. Hello, Colonel Dr. Fayyad. Can you tell us about the conference? goals and how it can contribute to medical strides of the kingdom. Uh, hello, uh, Mohammed, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, just highlight what is going to happen tomorrow in the fourth Bahrain Diabetes and Endocrine Review Conference. 
Uh, actually, this conference will cover the most recent uh, advances in the management of obesity and uh, diabetes as a common problem in Bahrain and in the whole world. And Bahrain is part of that world which has the highest incidence number of diabetic patients. And uh, as we all know that the major uh, cause in Bahrain is the uh, obesity and the uh, lifestyle, uh, which is, uh, it is very poor in the uh, diet habits and lack of exercise. We're going to emphasize in this uh, conference about the importance of changing the modalities of management in the, the, in the medication, as well as lifestyle modification in the form of exercise and uh, diet. Uh, I don't mean diet is cutting down everything which is important, but at least uh, avoiding the junk food, uh, especially in the new generation, the children as it starts, uh, as they are going to grow without medica without uh, any diseases or illnesses caused by the bad habits of eating. Consultant physician and endocrinologist at the BDF Hospital, Colonel Dr. Faryal Sabar, thank you for joining us.